today we will see the solution to problem 7.19 of Griffith introduction to quantum mechanics chapter 7 uh, the problem one, uh, 7.19 is to evaluate the following commutators so there, there are uh, six commutators are given here and we have to find uh, given hint is L and S satisfy the fundamental commutation relation for angular momentum. That is equation 4.99 and equation 4.134. Uh, both are well known to us. Equation 4.99 is related to commutation relation of the angular momentum operator L. Lx, Ly, Lz. We know it. Similarly, the equation 4.137 is related to spin angular momentum, commutation relation of uh, pin, spin angular momentum. So using this relation, we have to find the uh, other commutation relation. We will see one by one. We will solve the commutation relation one by one. First, we will take part A. That is commutation of L dot S with L. So L dot S, uh, S can be written as Lx, S, Sx plus Ly, uh, Sy plus Lz, Sz. Uh, see, remember here we have only X component, Y component and Z component. Uh, because it's a uh, dot product, uh, same component of L and S exists, the other will be zero. Uh, so here, uh, uh, L component contain three, uh, L contain three component, Lx, Ly, Lz. So first we will take Lx. So now this uh, we can split into three commutator. Uh, that is uh, first one, Lx, Sx, uh, commutation with Lx. Uh, commutation of Ly, Sy with Lx. Similarly, the commutation of Lz, Yz, uh, Lz, Yz with Lx. Now, using commutator uh, uh, relation, we can uh, rewrite this first term. Uh, that is uh, this one. We will take Lx, left hand side operator to the left hand side, and uh, naturally this will become a commutation between Sx and uh, Lx. Uh, so, uh, like uh, you take this right hand side operator Sx to the right hand side, then this will become Lx, commutation of Lx with Lx. Uh, you do the same thing for the second one, Ly left, Sy right. Then similarly here, Lz right, uh, left and uh, Sz right side. Now we know very well that uh, uh, each component of L will commit with the X. So this will be zero. And here it will be zero. And here also it will be uh, zero. And uh, only the uh, and also here Lx commit with Lx. Remember that second term also will go to zero. So only these two terms exist. So here you have Sy, you keep as it is. Uh, the commutation relation of Ly with the, uh, Lx is equal to minus Ih cross Lz. Because when uh, Lx, X component I, uh, and Y component come out, you will get Z component from the uh, commutator relation of orbital angular momentum. But uh, this is uh, not XY clockwise. It is anti-clockwise, so there is a negative sign. Similarly, so this will become minus IS cuts cross, minus I cuts cross LZ. Uh, then uh, what about the last term? Last term, uh, Lz, Zx, so it's clockwise, so you will get plus Ih cross. So the, the plus Ih cross Ly. Uh, Lz, if Lz commit with the Lx, you will get Ih cross Ly. So here you have Sz. 
So you can rearrange the term. You can take positive term first. That is, IH cross is common. I am taking out. So IH cross, uh, then the positive term is LYSZ minus LZSY. Uh, so which is nothing but the uh, cross product of X component. That is very important. So I used here the sub uh, X. Uh, so uh, L Y uh, L Z minus L Z S Y uh, is equal to L cross S that is X component. So uh, O X component only you will get Y Z. So uh, similarly for uh, Y component here you replace X by Y, uh, then you will get uh, L cross S Y component. In that case uh, you will get uh, Z uh, X and xz similarly for z component so lz in general you can write that commutation of l dot s with l is equal to i h cross uh, l cross s uh, so uh, so this is the final answer uh, now uh, the next relation is Commutation relation is uh, we have to find the commutation of L dot S with uh, S. Earlier we have seen uh, the commutation of L dot S uh, with L, uh, which we have found that I H cross uh, L cross S. Uh, here L is uh, replaced by S. So naturally the from uh, using above method, we can easily uh, find out that uh, the commutation between L dot S with S is equal to I H cross S cross L. Here it is L cross S. Uh, here it is S cross L. Uh, similarly, the next commutation relation, you want to find that the commutation of L dot S with J. So L dot S with J, J by definition, we know J is equal to L plus S, total angular momentum. So this can be written into two commutation relation. That is L dot S with L plus L dot S with S. Just now we have shown that L dot S Commutation of L dot S with L is equal to I H cross L cross S. That is, I H cross we are taken as common. So, L H cross, the first one. The next, L dot S with S. L dot S with S is equal to I H cross S cross L. So, this one. I H cross we are ta uh, taking as common, so this is equal to S cross. Uh, so L cross S, S is equal to, uh, sorry, S cross L is equal to minus uh, L cross S. So both will get cancelled. This and this will get cancelled because both are in opposite direction. So this will get cancelled. This will become zero. Uh, so uh, L dot S, uh, commutation of L dot S with J is equal to 0. Uh, then uh, next relation is L dot S with L square. Uh, so uh, we know the each and in, uh, each individual component of L and S commit with L square or S square. So naturally L dot S, commutation of L dot S with L square is equal to 0. In similar way, the commutation of L dot S with S square is also equal to zero. Uh, then we will move our next commutation relation. Next uh, commutation relation is uh, L dot S with J square. Uh, so uh, J is, we know J is equal to total angular momentum, which is equal to L plus S. Then J squared is equal to L plus S uh, dot L plus S. So you can uh, take dot product. That is, uh, this is L squared, L into L, L squared, and S into S, S squared. L, uh, S here, and S, L here, which is equal to 2 uh, L dot S. Uh, so uh, 
this one l dot uh, yes uh, j squared can be written as l dot s yes, uh, because uh, j squared is equal to l squared s yes squared uh, plus 2ls uh, 2 uh, l dot s yes. so this can be uh, separated into three commutator l dot s yes with l square l squared l dot s yes with s squared uh, plus two times l dot s uh, with l dot s so here you know uh, this uh, uh, l and s will commit with l squared all component will commit with l squared this will be zero similarly all uh, component of l and s commit with uh, s squared so this is also zero now here it is l dot s here also l dot s so naturally the L dot S yes, uh, commit with L dot S. Yes. This is also zero. So naturally, uh, L dot S uh, yes with J squared is equal to zero. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.